How's it going guys? I'm Connor from Running Warehouse. I'm here with Zach, Senior Product Line Manager at Hoka. Today we're going to be taking a first look at the new Hoka Tecton X 2. Now Zach, we saw the Tecton X last year. We saw it in the feed a lot of Hoka pros winning major races and it was revolutionary because we saw the introduction of the carbon plate onto the trail side for those performance benefits. Yep. Give us the update with version 2. So for the second version we have a lot of that same tech from the first round. Uh, those dual carbon fiber plates that sit in parallel so you have that great adaptability on uneven terrain but still offer that front to back propulsion. Uh, so that's what our athletes loved. We wanted to lighten up the upper and sleeken it up a little bit. So with the second version, we go to a matrix upper that's incredibly lightweight and repels water very well. So it's not a waterproof shoe, but when you get it wet, you're not gonna have soaking feet for miles and miles and miles. So this update got a little lighter, a little more fitted, and then we still help that great open space on that vamp on that toe down there. So great fit, but then once you tie it, it's got great lockdown over the top of the foot. Yeah, and I know we didn't need huge changes with the shoes because the athletes really, really liked this shoe. Was there anything you heard from the athletes that specifically kind of went into creating these upper changes? Yeah, mostly that, that kind of lightweight and lockdown. Those are the key two things. We're racing in it, we're going long miles, we're running up and down mountains over UTMB. And they wanted to make sure they still had that secure fit when they got tired and they've got into that uneven terrain. All right, so we're still going to see this as that racer can be used for ultra marathon distances. Yep. Where are you seeing most people using, utilizing this shoe in their shoe quiver? This is kind of like that ultimate efficient racer. Like if people are going for that longer distances and they want some of that extra efficiency and that propulsion that you can get from the great foams and the great plates, uh, they'll kind of go here. And then if they're looking for just nothing but teeth, they'll go to something like the Zanal or the Speedgo. Well, not crazy changes here, but I think that's a good thing. People like this shoe. It's fast, it's efficient, it's built for racing. Now with some small fine tuning to the upper, I think we've got an even better shoe. For people to looking to get this shoe on their feet, when can they have it? You can get your hands on these in late spring. Perfect. If you want to get it on your own feet, you can find it here at Running Warehouse.